Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see one more topic in Selenium automation. In one of our previous videos, we have seen how to work with the headless automation. In that, uh, we have discussed about uh, headless automation with the help of HTML unit driver. So in this video, we are going to see one more way to work with the headless automation by using headless group. So here we are going to use a class that is belonging to the performing uh, the headless operation uh, in chrome especially that is nothing but uh, the chrome options so we'll see how to use this chrome options and how to perform to perform the headless uh, chrome operation so this headless chrome operation in chrome is performed after in the versions which are upgraded after uh, 60 so now i am having the version of uh, 89 so let's you can check here in the in the chrome browser so go to the help and you can see about chrome so here you can see the version of the chrome so you can use this chrome options to run the website in headless mode for the versions which are after 60th okay so now you can uh, run the test scripts in headless mode with the help of chrome options so here i have already created some script to launch the website so this zoopla.com so what happens is so once it will launch it will just fit get the text from this title so with the help of uh, get title method so it will print the title in the console and then it will quit the driver okay so here we'll run this once and we'll check the output of uh, the title in our console so the execution is started for address com class and you can see in the console and the web page is opened in a new chrome session and you can see zoopla.com is launched and you can see the title zoopla search property to buy brand house prices estate agents in the console so now we'll try to uh, work with uh, the headless chrome and here we have one class called headless chrome so here you can declare or instantiate the chrome class chrome options class so chrome options options is equals to new chrome options so this is the object reference which is nothing but uh, the options and we need to import the chrome options jars into our project okay so just hover over this chrome options and you need to import this so this belongs to the selenium dot chrome and here you can see the libraries so org dot open qa dot selenium dot chrome dot chrome driver and chrome options okay so next thing is uh, in this we have one method called add argument so you can get the suggestions as well once you place the pointer after the object reference and select the second one so with the string arguments and here we have different types of arguments like headless so that makes the script to run in the headless mode suppose if you are using incognito means so this will runs my code in the incognito window so that time it will launch the browser and it will uh, open the page suppose if you want to run in headless mode means you just need to add the parameter as headless okay and one more thing so this options reference which is the reference to the chrome options we need to mention inside the driver okay so here you need to place the options inside this chrome driver okay so i'm just removing this incognito so this is just uh, for the reference if you place this hyphen hyphen incognito means so chrome options will launch your test scripts in incognito window so i will show that as well at the end of the video okay so that's all the changes we need to make and you can see the same script and once it is quit so we'll send 
will say a message in our console like uh, test execution completed okay so we'll just run this now and so this time we won't see any window launched with uh, the website uh, supla.com so now the code will be running in the backend in especially in the chrome browser and it will display the title of this supla.com and once the execution is completed the driver will get automatically quit and it will print the test execution completed in our console so you can see this right so the title which we have seen earlier while using normal chrome driver was uh, printed with uh, the same message and then so once the error once the driver got quit we got this test execution completed message in our console okay so that is so this is the way you can uh, use this headless chrome with the help of uh, the chrome options and the main advantage of this is so when you have a small set of tests and you want to perform the automation for uh, uh, limited amount of test scripts means you can use this and it is very fast so you can notice the speed time and it is very very fast to execute the small scripts and some of the disadvantages like uh, you cannot perform the actions on uh, this uh, with the help of uh, this <coughs> with the help of uh, this uh, uh, headless option uh, why because uh, so sometimes we need to use the context click or right click so those kind of operations we cannot perform with the help of the setless as we can't see and driver cannot identify the elements to drag or drop from one location to another location or to perform the right click operations so it is difficult that is one of the challenge and you may notice the issues sometimes if the browser window is not set properly so you can change with the help of one more kind of arguments so so we just add one more argument so add arguments so in the same way just we added for the headless so you can mention here suppose if you want to change the size so we need to use the size with the parameter like window hyphen size equals to you can give the size so this is the standard size we can use for a web automation application so so like this you can adjust the window size as of your web application or web ui window okay so especially in the headless mode so in headless mode so this options uh, like uh, manage dot window dot maximize option also will not work suppose if you are uh, trying to expand the window size of a particular uh, browser in uh, headless mode means okay so let's run this again and we can see the same output in our console Okay. so you can see this Zoopla is printing uh, the message of uh, the Zoopla title and then uh, this test execution method is also displayed okay so let's change this to incognito and we'll see the output so incognito so this time it should run in the incognito mode so I will just change the size to 600 and 600 okay let's see whether these changes are happening really to our chrome session or not so this time uh, our session will launch in incognito mode especially in incognito mode because of the arguments whatever we have provided so you can see the changes now so no it launched automatically it got maximized i think because of this maximize so let me comment this and so you can see the same output like a title and the execution is completed without any issues so this time i commented this uh, window.maximize i think we can get the same screen size of uh, the argument size 600 and 600 okay so now 
we can see a square box of size 600 600 and the title got printed and then execution is also completed okay so like this we will run the test scripts in headless chrome with the help of chrome options and we have also seen how to run the scripts in incognito mode of chrome browser okay so that's all about this session i hope you like the video and you enjoy this session and if you like the video please hit the like button and please share the session with your friends or with your colleagues and all the best with your preparations and thanks for subscribing and